everyone uh we're gonna be making a little tutorial on what we use on our puppies we get asked the question almost 25 times a day and um the question is always regarding uh their coat what do we do to you know how do we wash them what do we use why do they smell so good and um i'm so glad to be sharing with you our little secret and um i want to let you know what we've been using for the last couple of years uh, this product is amazing and we'll tell you exactly how we do it so you can get your pet looking amazing so uh, what we do is we use, actually the name of the product is called Avoderm. So Avoderm is made of avocado and avocado is known to just have um, an amazing effect on the coat of your pets, whether it's a cat or a dog. Um, it just makes it more lustrous. Um, it's it's anti-static. It, it adds luster and shine to the coat. It cleans and conditions, and it's really, really healthy. So, And you have a lot of natural vitamins and minerals in there. So that's one of our secret. Uh, what we do is um, we start off by spraying our puppy uh, with this particular um, bottle and this one is called a grooming spray so what that does it, it like I said it cleans and conditions and it takes out the static and it'll detangle just before you go ahead and shampoo and conditioner your pet so I will use Mr. Teddy <laughs> I just don't want to wake up my puppies it's kind of late tonight so I don't want to bother them but um We'll use Teddy here, which will stay still during this demonstration. And what we do is we grab our little Avoderm spray and we spray our puppy from head to toe and you make sure that you protect their eyes. So you just do it on top of the head and I like to do it on the legs and then the back here. And um, you just kind of pass your hand through it with that spray, which is amazing. It smells great as well. And then you rinse it all off. So that's the first thing that I do. Now second, I'll go ahead and use the shampoo, Avoderm shampoo. It's called Puppy Shampoo for Dogs. And I just put a little bit because it moves quite a lot. So I'll just kind of put a little bit in my hand or just put it directly on the puppy. And then I start massaging it all over. Make sure um, that you don't get any, shamp uh, any um, shampoo in your puppy's eyes. So you want to go probably a little bit on top of the head, uh, maybe at the end of the ears. But um, you don't want to touch the face, the nose. And you want to go maybe under its neck, right here on the chest and, you know, the legs and under the paws. Um, so you want to massage it. You know that if it's a Yorkie, you don't want to be massaging the hair all over. You want to be going from the top all the way down this way. This is how you shampoo it. Um, if it's a palm, then it's okay because their hair is not as long as the Yorkie and it doesn't get as tangled. So anyway, so you want to shampoo it and you want to rinse it off. And then you want to um, proceed with the uh, skin and coat conditioner, Avoderm. So you put a little bit again and you make sure that you lather everywhere. Once it's all over the place, I leave it between two and four minutes. So in the meantime, you could just kind of pet your puppy and, and calm it down just because they get a little stressed out. Not all puppies like to get bathed. So um, you just massage him or her and you reassure. You let her know everything is going to be okay and just let it sit for a little bit. And then after four or five minutes or as long as you want it to be, the longer it is it's in, the better it is because that avocado just acts into, um, it just penetrates the, the coat and makes it so healthy. And look at the ingredients. They're unbelievable. Everything is botanical and um, like it says here natural botanical and, and you'll see how the coat is going to be so shiny and beautiful so anyways you rinse it all off afterwards and just before you're done I usually reuse this um, I know you started off with this I usually use it at the end of it all so once you rinse off the conditioner you'll reapply the spray and you make sure that you uh, rinse it off again so that will detangle it again and, and add a lot more shine this one actually specializes um, the, it adds luster and shine to the coat um, you know the anti-static detangles it cleans and conditions and it just makes the hair so beautiful and then once you rinse it out obviously you're gonna go ahead and take your blow dryer and blow dry your pet never leave it 
wet. Never leave your pet wet, especially with the air conditioning if it's indoors or during the winter or summer because it can get them really sick. So you don't want to do that. You always want to blow dry them. And you don't want to be washing them every single week. I mean, if necessary, you can always wash, you know, the parts that are dirty. But you don't want to wet your entire dog every week because that's not good. It actually dries up the skin and dries up their hair and it just kind of causes problems. But anyhow, once, you, um, once you've uh, rinsed off all of the products and you're ready to blow dry, you start blow drying in a motion back and forth. Um, make sure you hold your puppy uh, right here by the by the legs. When you hold your puppy, let's say it's in the sink and you're washing them in the sink or in the bathtub, uh, you want to make sure that you hold your puppy by the legs. They, they feel more secure because their instinct is to get out of the water because they want to breathe. They want to keep their head up. So you always want to make sure that you're holding on to their legs. Um, and that kind of calms them down because if you just leave them there, they'll want to jump out and it's going to get a little hard to shampoo them. So you just leave them there. And I usually use a paddle brush. And as I'm blow drying with my left hand, I am brushing with my right and I usually go in the opposite way of how the hair grows so if the hair grows from the top all the way down like a Yorkie you want to go the opposite way down up down up I know it sounds ridiculous but I find it so useful it dries the hair so much faster as opposed to not doing anything and just blow drying your pet that could take 10 times more longer um, like I said I used a blow dryer in one hand and I used the uh, my right hand for the paddle brush and I just brushed a puppy as I'm blow drying it and I always make sure it's in a motion left to right up and down you don't want to stay with the blow dryer on their hair or skin you will actually burn them um, or you always want to put it at a setting where the cooler air comes out as opposed to the hotter hair so anyhow so you can start brushing your pet the opposite way and um, for Yorkies you may want to do that if not you um, could always go in the sense of the hair like from the back all the way down you can do that I like to go the opposite way I find that it adds volume to the hair and it just makes them thicker um, that's my preference you can do whatever it is that you want and for a palm you never brush it uh, from the head down you always want to go from the tail all the way up so as you're blow drying it you want to go that way so we do that and that speeds up the process of drying them up then once you're done if you're doing a, a palm or a Yorkie any dog that has long hair that might have tangles you may want to once you're, you're finished with the blow drying you may want to hold the base of the hair and then with your other hand you're going to go with the brush and just kind of detangle slowly but make sure you hold the base because you don't want to be pulling the hair and hurting your pet so you just go slowly in a motion um, from right to left or left to right or from the bottom all the way up to the to the ceiling and you want to detangle slowly but surely and if you're still having problems with knots there's a comb here that I think is fabulous um, I'm not sure what they call it they just call it the pet comb I still have the tag here uh, I have a couple, so um, I haven't cut the tag yet, but um, it's a brand new comb. I usually use these ones. They're fabulous. They last forever. Uh, and again, you just grab the hair to the base, and then you slowly comb through the hair. And you can do that on the head. You want to be very careful on the head because they sometimes the, the thickness of the hair is probably less than the body. So you don't want to go too hard because it will leave some scabs and you don't want that because that hurts the your, your poor puppy. Um, so again, you know, once you are blow drying, I use the paddle brush to blow dry. So I go the opposite way. As I'm blow drying with my left, I brush with my right. And then I use the um, comb, which is called... They call it the Groom Groom Master. I don't know if you can read it. Groom Master Value Line, and it's number 5211. It is wonderful. It's very small. It's no bigger than my hand. And I have small hands, but um, it's no bigger than my hand. And I just take it. Like I said, I hold the base of the hair, and I just detangle. So here you have it. That was a tutorial on uh, the products Avilderm. They are absolutely wonderful. They do have other products for cats. Um, you know, and they do have other products for dogs, too. They don't just have the shampoo, conditioner, detangler. I think they have the shining ones and whatnot. But they are wonderful products, and we use those on our dogs. Uh, and we do we do use others as well, but we'll do other tutorials on that. But 
um, those ones are just our number one favorite. So I hope that helped you. And um, if you have any questions, make sure that you go on our website at www.tinyteacupworld.com or you can always call us at 866-706-8287.